60 miles away at the National Weather Service Center in Wichita, Kansas, meteorologist Chance Hayes tracked the storm. You know, as we look at that Attica tornado, the movement of that storm was slightly out of the norm. Typically, we go southwest and northeast. This tornado and storm moved due north. That put that home and the community of Attica directly in the path of that storm. As I look at the tornado prior to it hitting the house, I notice rapid circulation around the centralized point of the tornado, a lot of dirt that was getting kicked up from the open field, which made it a, a dramatic and a very picturesque tornado. I don't like to use picturesque for tornadoes because they can cause so much damage, injuries, and in, in rare cases, fatalities. But in that particular storm, uh, you had a reddish brown type dirt. And when it was reflected by the sun, it, it gave it kind of an iridescence to that tornado. So it was very picturesque. Hi. You know, as I watched the video that was shot by Scott and Dave, you just sit there with your mouth wide open watching that tornado just slowly inch closer and closer. That's what can cause the fatalities, is the flying debris within the tornado. Because there are times folks have been picked up and thrown and their lives have been spared. But if you get a tornado with a lot of debris, uh, it's just asking for trouble. It's one storm out there all by itself, sitting there spinning, moving across the countryside, and at times, it can shift very quickly. And that's where folks can get in trouble, because if they're sitting there shooting their pictures, their video, they've got tunnel vision. They're focused right there on that tornado, and before you know it, it could be moving right at them as that supercell begins to veer off. We do find that tornadoes have occurred in November, even into December and January, we've had tornadoes. But the common theme there is they're not the grinders like what we have in the late spring and early summer. But they can still produce quite a bit of damage. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to predict. Storms themselves aren't too terribly bad. But to actually get that tornado or that rotation down to the ground, there's so many different environmental variables that come into play it's hard to know if they're all going to be present. You've got to sit there and monitor the weather conditions moment by moment, because it can change just like that. A tornado warning is an alert issued by weather services to notify an area that a tornado or funnel cloud has been spotted, or if there are radar indications of a possible tornado. There are times when the environment gives us clues that it's ready to explode. We try and provide as much information as we possibly can to the public. As a forecaster, somebody that issues warnings, you pray and you hope that folks are taking heed of the information that's being supplied to them. When I talk about tornadoes, you see the fear in people's eyes a lot of times. They're scared of tornadoes. And I try and tell folks, don't be scared of them, just respect them. 